Hello and welcome to another US cutter video. While you can do a lot with your vinyl cutter using just adhesive vinyl and heat transfer vinyl, there are some jobs that require a printer and a machine capable of cutting around a printed image. The US Cutter Laser Point 3 Vinyl Cutter can do this with ease using the powerful automatic registration mark system, also known as ARMS Contour Cutting. In today's video, we're going to show you how to calibrate and perform a contour cut using the US Cutter Laser Point 3 Vinyl Cutter and your Vinyl Master software. Let's go ahead and start by showing you how to calibrate the Laser Point 3 Vinyl Cutter. This will only take a few steps, and step one is to load a blank sheet of paper into the center of your Laser Point 3, and then also load the pen tool into your carriage arm. You can use a normal letter size sheet of paper or something larger and just load it right into the center of the vinyl cutter, ensuring that the carriage will have enough room to move two inches in every direction. Step two is to power on the machine while holding down the right arrow key. When done correctly, you will see the welcome message stay up on the screen until you release the right arrow. Releasing the right arrow will bring up the move to blank screen and this is going to bring us to step three, setting the origin point. You can now use the arrow keys to move the carriage around, but you do want to move it to the center of that sheet of paper. Once centered, you will press the origin button, and now we're at the final step, and that's drawing and scanning. So after we've moved the origin point to the center of the sheet of paper, you will press the enter button on the cutter and the laser point three will start to draw an L shape using the pen tool, and then it will scan the L shape mark using its laser. If done correctly, the screen of the cutter will display a success message when it's completed. If this is your first time using your pen tool, it may take a few attempts before it leaves a dark enough mark for the pen to register with the laser. Just replace the sheet of paper and start over. Now that we've calibrated the laser, it's time to show you how easy it is to contour cut with the Laser Point 3 using our Vinyl Master software. Everything shown in this demonstration can be done with any version of our Vinyl Master software. First, we need to import our file, and we can import any .png, .bmp, .jpeg, AI, and PDF files directly into Vinyl Master by just dragging and dropping the file onto the design screen. After a quick resize, we need to add our cut lines into the design. To do this, we just need to select our objects, and then you can move your mouse cursor up to the top of the static toolbar and click the apple. Clicking the apple will bring down a drop down menu, and we have two options in it. We want to select the top option, create cut contour, and this will bring up the create cut contour pop up window. It will automatically find the contours of your image no matter what shape and size it is. You can trace it, or if your image is already vectorized, it will automatically know exactly where the contour edges are. Once the edge of your images have been found, Vinyl Master will allow you to adjust the position of the cut line using the options over on the right hand side. Once you're happy with your cut line, you just want to click accept, and then you'll see the contour cut line added to the design screen. The next step is to add the registration marks to the image and then we'll be ready to print it out. You will want to select your image and the cut lines that we just created and then move your mouse back up to the apple located in the static toolbar. Unlike the first time, we are going to select the second option, the contour cut wizard, and this will open up the contour cutting wizard pop-up window. And it has a few sections and tabs that we can use to make changes but we're gonna stay in the Output Options tab for everything right here. Over on the right side of the pop-up, you can see a live preview of your image with the cut line and registration marks added as well. Back over on the left side of the pop-up, on the Output Options tab, we can select our cutting device and also select to have manual or automatic arms contour cutting. And since the Laser Point 3 supports arms contour cutting, we want to make sure that we have automatic selected before moving down to the printing devices. In the printing devices, we can select to print directly to any printer that we have installed on this computer. You can choose to print to a PDF, which will open your PDF viewing program that you have selected. 
and that may have additional print options that you can use when printing out your media. Then for the bottom two, you can save it as an image or PDF so that you can transfer the file to any computer or RIP software that you may need to for printing. For this example here, we're just going to print direct to an installed printer, so everything already looks good here in this section. Below that, we have our source options, and here you can move the position of the contours and bring in other items on the page outside of what you have selected. Below that, we have your practice sheets. And since we've already calibrated our vinyl cutter, they shouldn't really be needed. Since we are printing directly to our printer that we have installed on the network, we should see a print button on the bottom right hand corner of the pop-up. Clicking print will send the job to our selected printer and then we're ready to load it into the vinyl cutter and start cutting. If you're not really sure on how you're going to load your print into your laser point three, clicking the cut button on the contour cutting wizard pop-up will open up the align cut file wizard. Here it will show you the proper way to load your print into the laser point three. It uses the tip of the blade as the starting point and you will want to have it in this general area that I've colored in with this marker when you're lining it up. Once you have the tip of the blade in the area of the registration mark, we're ready to set the origin point and start cutting. Once the origin point has been set, click the next button and the laser point three will start scanning the registration marks and then follow that with cutting. Now, occasionally you may not line up everything perfect the first time and the laser won't be able to find the mark on the first attempt. When this does happen, a screen will appear on the laser point three asking you to recut. If you want to attempt to scan and cut it again, then press OK and then you'll reset the origin point and then as soon as you set the origin point, you can start your scan and cut again. If you have any questions about anything shown in today's video or anything on our website at all, feel free to contact our sales or support teams at the phone number shown on screen as well as email them directly at the email address shown on screen. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I hope you have yourself a wonderful day.